against me. You want to die? Not an engage log. This game is dangerous. You alive?
a violent tour. Won't work. Dark radius. Of course I won.
say your prayers. Come on! Come on! Come on! Won't work! Of course I won! monsters to our side. You think so? Let's keep it up. Right. It appears you've grown quite proficient at making pacts. I hope so. Then again, there's not much to it. You must always be wary of overconfidence. Pacts are a sacred ritual. For the monster, it means entrusting you with their very... <sighs> Another lecture. Tenebrae, you're back in full stuffy mode. What was that? I say these things for Emil's own good, so he'll be prepared. Okay, guys. We can't befriend monsters if we don't get along ourselves. You want to die? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. That's so true! Yeah. Then let's begin our lesson on monsters. What? Huh?
Wow, everything is frozen over. You said Ignis's core is here. Is that the Centurion of Ice? No, fire. Wait, fire? But this place is freezing! I believe the core's loss of control is having a negative effect. The Centurion's power is working in reverse. So that's why it's so cold in here. Fire. What are you thinking, Rain? You said that there was a Centurion of Light in the basement of the Tower of Mana. That's right, but Lloyd took it from us. It seems that the Centurion's cores are located in the same places where the Summon Spirits used to be imprisoned. Tenebrae, are Centurions and Summon Spirits related in some way? No, nothing of the sort. Though Centurion's cores are located in places with unusually high concentrations of mana, the Centurions use their elemental attributes to counterbalance these mana anomalies. So, wouldn't that mean we'll find Centurion's cores by visiting all the places where the summoned spirits were? There's no need to follow Lloyd. I was just thinking the same thing. Really? Maybe we can beat Lloyd to the cores now. I'm not sure about that. Lloyd knows where the Summoned Spirits were located as well. If he's realized this, it doesn't give us any advantage. There's no way I'm losing to Lloyd. Genus. I understand how you feel, but the only one who can erase Emile's doubts about Lloyd is Lloyd himself. I know that, but it's still difficult. towards others. I think that's what you least have.
Training gave up. <laughs> Benevolence towards others. I think that's what you least have. You're going down. Oh, violent. <laughs> Ignis is now awake. As Ignis's powers return, Emil, as a knight of Ratatosk, you should also awaken to new powers. So, um, now we need to recruit fire elemental monsters. That would gradually bring back Ignis's powers. And I should get stronger too, right? Doing all of this in order to save this world. 
We have to find all of the Centurion's cores so that we can wake up Ratatosk. Please, give us Lumen's core. All right, that's enough. Hand over Ignis's core. Marta, we have to take back Lumen's core by force. Why even try to reason with this murderous man who killed innocent people in Palma Costa in cold blood? Come on, Lloyd. You have to tell them. Tell them that you didn't attack Palma Costa. All of these rumors about you. You didn't do any of that stuff, right? <sighs> Lloyd, please answer me! Yes, Lloyd. Is there something you can't tell us? What is it? Or perhaps the rumors about you are true? I don't have to answer you. Now then, hand over the Centurion's core. If you refuse me, I won't hesitate to take it by force. But Lloyd! Why? Killed! Die! You still have much to learn. Doesn't look good. That monster is blind with rage. Damn it! Here he comes! Somehow. The spirits of the earth. Oh, healing power! 
It's over! That monster... It must have followed us all the way from the entrance. Yeah... I think you're right. Lloyd ran off when he heard its roar. Damn it. It may be too late, but let's go after Lloyd. Right. mode, huh? It can't be easy making a pack that changes your whole personality, on top of giving you new powers. Indeed. I'm sure Emil has his hands full simply controlling the power he receives from Ratatosk, which is why he often can't control his own emotions. Then he's just like Rain when she's in ruin mode, giving in to her desires, unable to control her maniac urges. Ow! That hurts! Just like me. Could that mean he has another self sealed away inside him? If so... What's wrong? It's nothing. <laughs> 